Welcome to the Berry Girls Kitchen. I'm Kylie. And I'm Linda. Well, we're well into the new year and we're back to give you delicious variations to help you stay on track and not get bored. I'll say, so let's talk about something everyone can eat every day of the week. It's pizza. Yes. But without all the unnecessary calories though. So here's the thing. We are using cauliflower crusted pizza. People are asking, why are you using that crust? Why, what? I'm like, because it's low in carbs, it's high in fiber, and plus it has vitamins K and C in there. Wow. Which we know vitamins are extremely beneficial, especially this time of year. Wow, I'm excited. We're the Berry Girls, brought to you by Hen House Markets. And we've made it our life's goal to show you how to eat healthy and make, make it count. count. So let's start with our first pizza, which is a barbecue chicken pizza. How can you go wrong with barbecue anything? True. So we'll start with having our sauce as the base. It's barbecue sauce, and we use a brown sugar based sauce. Mm -hmm. Then we have our cooked chicken strips, onions, banana peppers, and gouda. <laughs> Yummy. What a great combination. Oh Moving on, we have our veggie pizza. Yes. And yes. that starts with your pizza sauce, beans for protein. You've mm -hmm. got to get your protein in wherever possible. Yes. Olives, carrots, onions, bell peppers. And if you notice, we have a variety of bell peppers. The color is appealing to the eye. Mm -hmm. And what's appealing to the eye, the brain is like, give me more. Got to have it. Sun-dried tomatoes, mushrooms, mm -hmm. Italian herbs, spinach, and low-fat mozzarella. Oh my goodness, that is so perfect. Next up, we have our Mediterranean pizza, Yum. which would include, of course, our pizza sauce, artichoke hearts, mm. Italian herbs, parsley, tomatoes, onions, and your choice of any kind of olive you want. And of course mozzarella. So now what you want to do is go ahead and preheat your oven to 425. From there you're going to take each pizza and place them in the oven separately for about 15 to 20 minutes. Keep an eye on it because you don't want your crust to burn. Next we have our spring mix salad. Yes. Now this salad incorporates a variety of flavors and mm -hmm. tastes so you won't get bored. So we have our bell peppers, cauliflower, avocados, broccoli, cucumbers, carrots, boiled egg, hard boiled egg I should say, mushrooms, onions, sunflower seeds, cherry tomatoes, garbanzo beans, jalapeno peppers, celery of course, banana peppers, cranberries, gotta have that cheese, we went with cheddar right there, and then our tortilla chips. Now, we went with cheddar, but you can also use feta and goat cheese, yes. or even mozzarella. Mozzarella has zinc, mm -hmm. goat cheese has vitamins A and B, and feta is great for bone health. I'll say it is. So I want you to not drown your salad in your dressing, people, okay? Have fun with it, though. Try a vinaigrette. A raspberry vinaigrette has a lot of flavor, or even a light, low-fat ranch. There you have it. Delicious variations to help you stay on track and make it count. Don't forget to leave a like and follow and let us know how you make it count. The Berry Girls are brought to you by Hen House. Berry Girls out.